I started on this as a solo project. I wasn't going to do a video for it just because it was a random thing that popped up. My mom collects boxes. She finds a lot of boxes at thrift stores and stuff. This one I think she got from some like old couple's house or something. This is a really cool one she let me have. It's red cedar. It was made in 1947 by a guy named Ray. But this is a box that she recently found. It was a shoe shining kit or something. And it is oak and it is nicely box jointed. But you can see there's a problem with this box. That's not very useful. Quarter inch oak plywood. I cut a top and a bottom for it. After I did that is when I thought I should make a video. Let me get y'all caught up to speed. So this, this is what I did. Took the box, took the, the oak plywood, I laid it down, I took the box, I, I took a pencil and I marked it around it. Took it to the tank saw, set my fence up, and then I still use the fence. I didn't use this thing, we don't want that. And then and then that leads us to where we're at now. I want to glue these on and have them dry overnight. I think the hardest part about this project is going to be getting this new oak plywood to match. Okay, and as I said, that will dry overnight. Just woke up. But I had some coffee, so. I'm gonna sand. I was working on sanding the edges flush. That's not working out very good because I'm kind of stripping the old finish a little bit. This little block plane is actually working really good. spraying it down with that degreaser. I've got a little wire brush here. So I need to figure out how to make the new top and bottom match. I've tried two different stains, a light brown paint wash. None of those look very good. But what I think I'm going to do is I found a dark brown paint wash that is like the closest thing I could find. I think I'm going to call upon my cosplaying skills, I guess. And I'm going to do a wet wash with that. So my paintbrush is going to be wet. The brown paint is going to be watery. So it's going to act more as a stain than a paint. Just want to start wiping. Okay, we gotta put a halt to the lacquer for a minute because storing this for my mom, I just got word for her that she wants a little bit of additional work done to the tops before I completely finish it. So she wants it to look not just aged, but like uh, it's been through some stuff. So we're pretty much just gonna beat it up and see what happens.
and I didn't put on as many coats of lacquer as I normally would. So the finish is slightly uneven. I buffed it with some 320 grit sandpaper so I think it matches the original finish a lot better. Almost looking like nothing ever happened to it. If you liked and enjoyed this video, subscribe to this channel. I have new woodworking videos every Friday. Usually I'm building something. This is the first time I've restored something. But it was fun, it was different, and I think the end result looks really good. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.